the, how to make the world line stairs at the row decoder side. So uh, we can make each layer by photo resist, uh, uh, photo and edge, photo and edge, repeating that. But the problem is that costs too much. That takes too long time. So in the in terms of cost, that is not a good way. So we use the uh, we use this photo resist slimming process. So first deposit the very <coughs> high, very thick uh, photo resist and then etch the layer, and then slim, slim it by the isotropic edge. So the height and width is narrow. And then etch again, and re by repeating this, we can make the stair, staircase. So this is the way to what I contact. Uh, until now, I introduced the general 3D and the process. Uh, of course, there, is, there are many challenging points of 3D NAND process. So, uh, because uh, the layers layers are now, it's too high, so like more than 100 layers. So, uh, what, what if there is a small defect or non-uniform layer here? So, the problem is all the layers in this same point will affect it. So that is the problem. And the channel hole to, uh, to etch the channel hole is too difficult because, <coughs> as I said before, the diameter of channel hole is around one nanometer. I have, sorry, one hundred nanometer, and the depth is now four micrometer to six micrometer. So, aspect ratio is how how much is it? So Forty to sixty. That is the aspect ratio. So, it is very hard to etch. And the one thing is, the, we have to fill the word line through the letter <coughs> here. So it's also difficult. And among these three processes, the most difficult is this edge. It's very hard because the aspect rate, to meet the aspect ratio of 50 or 60, we have to make the etching slope more than 8. Uh, 89 degrees, more than 89. 89 is also not enough. So, the, uh, we have to solve that problem. So, in these days, uh, we use double stack process. So, for, this is one example that is Micron is using. Uh, if we want to make 64 layer, uh, Holy set twice. So first we deposit the 32 world lines and etch the hole, and then fill the sacri uh, fill the hole with the sacrificial layer, and then again we uh, deposit the remaining 32 world lines and then etch, and then the etch the whole two holes are connected. Uh, so. Maybe the process step is very complicated and the time will be increased, but we can achieve the high yield and high reliability. Uh, and this, uh, this technique is called the C CUA, that is CMOS under array. Uh, most of the memory cell have this architecture, that is cell, memory cell array, and the uh, Peri peri circuit besides the cell, besides the cell. But Micron proposed the peri uh, peri circuit under the cell array. So this is the cross sectional view of the CMOS uh, CUA structure, and CMOS circuit is really physically under the memory array. View. So this technique is also this technique also increases the process step. Mm -hmm. And it, it is very difficult step, uh, difficult fabrication process, but also it can also increase the number of chip, so we can decrease the cost. And this is the final one uh, that is called X stacking. It is proposed. Uh, it is proposed by the YMTC, that is a Chinese land company, and. Uh, 
it is simply the wafer bonding. So in one wafer, CMOS circuit is fabricated, and in the other wafer, memory cells are stacked like this, and it is bonded like this. So ideally, it's a very good way to do, because it can uh, decrease, the, decrease the chip size. But maybe this bonding is very hard to do, so I think the achieving good yield is very difficult. It will be very difficult and it will take a very long time. Okay, uh, thank you for listening and do you have any questions? Okay, thank you.